he many people thought that Logan was the end of Wolverine mm -hmm. with you. What I made believed it. Huh? I believed it was <laughs> not really. But what made you come back? When I saw Deadpool 1, mm -hmm. in this part of my brain, <laughs> I could see it so clearly and I knew that it was also a side of the character that I'd never had a chance to play and that kind of dynamic and tone with Deadpool, I was like, that'd be so much fun. But I'd already sort of said I'm out, so oh, I'm a bit of that guy. I've said, I've said I'm out, so I'm gonna be out. And then, but we kept saying, listen, if we find a reason, if, if, if we can work it out, and then it was just one day, two years ago, and I just went, I really want to do it. I need to do it. And I pulled over the side of the road and I rang Ryan immediately. I said, I don't know where you're at, but I want to do it if you're in. And, and nine months later, we were filming. It was mm. crazy. Also, when a friend calls you these days, <laughs> they don't text, they don't email. Ah. Uh, when they actually call, you think, something's something bad is happened. <laughs> so I picked up the phone right away and it was, it was Hugh. And, you know, uh, thankfully I asked him if he was alive. <laughs> and he said yes. Uh, and that's when we got into it. And here we are. And Hugh, you played different versions of Wolverine that Wolverine Wolverine in the beginning of the film. Did you know all of them? And which one did you like most? Oh, that's a good question. It's a great question. Huh. I think I'm very partial to Patch. Mm. Little part of me has a little sort of a bit of a James Bond sort of part of like, and so it was sort of for me, there was both those characters combined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Australian James Bond, <laughs> come on, <laughs> what next? Um, yeah, I liked Patch, I mean Patch is an Patch interesting, is right. yeah, yeah, but there's yeah, a couple yeah. other ones that oh, I just, yeah. I, I like it personally, I like it very much, the Age of Apocalypse character. I was gonna say the Apocalypse yeah, character, I like yeah, that, was, that was kind of crazy. That was, that was awesome, the hair coming in. Emma, you became famous with uh, characters <laughs> with uh, Lady Dyer, Brown, yeah, and Lady Charger, the gay very aristocratic ones. How was it for you to make us so many different uh, character as Cassandra? It was really fun. I mean, look, it wasn't a call I was expecting and I couldn't believe it when mm -hmm. I got the call, the Marvel call, let alone mm -hmm. a villain call, which is the best one. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but it was a challenge and I think as an actor, everything that I'm personally looking to do is just to, yeah, increase the challenges and always keep things different. And also, I really wanted to do something where I'd learn a lot and I feel like I've learned so much, not only about the Marvel Universe, but about how to work of a, on a set of this scale, on a production of this scale, and it's mm -hmm. been absolutely incredible. I love the opening scene of, uh, but uh, the Bye Bye song, yes? Yes. Was this is a reference of X-Men 2 because it played on X-Men 2 or was it just a coincidence? Dude, I did not even know that. Really? No, no, we did not know this. We literally, Ryan and I have a playlist with like 90 songs. <laughs> wow. And we would sit in the edit room and we would watch scenes and just play music. And when we listened to Bye 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 to that sequence, we were like, that's it. Suddenly we were, the violence made us all so happy, <laughs> right? It was a weird Deadpoolian combination. No, no. I now need to go rewatch X2. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very fast, but okay, it's there. I'm now gonna say it was intentional, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna tell everyone that it's an Easter egg because you just taught me that. Thank you. Well, oh, not at all. Thank you. <laughs>